Welcome to a maths video taking a look at sequences. In this video we are looking to generate a sequence given the nth term. Now a couple of key words and phrases we need to know about. First one is the word term. This simply means, in this context, it simply means a number in a sequence. Then the nth term is just a formula that allows you to find any number in a sequence. So let's take a look at our first example. We're being asked to generate the first five terms in the sequence for the nth term, 5n minus 2. So what I'm going to do to begin with is I'm just going to write out the numbers 1 to 5. Now this is just the position, these numbers that I'm writing down now simply refer to the position in the sequence. So the first, that 1 just means the first number or the first term in the sequence. The 2 is referring to the the uh, second term, the three is referring to the third term and so on. Now in order to generate the first five terms of the sequence all that I have to do is substitute each of these numbers into the formula 5n minus 1. So to find the first term in this sequence I'm going to substitute the number 1 into this formula here 5n minus 2. So when I do that I'm going to have 5 multiplied by 1 and then subtract 2. So 5 times 1 is going to give me 5 minus 2 that's going to give me 3. So the second number to find the second term in my sequence I substitute the number 2 into this formula and so I get 5 times by 2 subtract 2 this time well subtract 2 again I should say so 5 times 2, that's going to give me 10. Minus 2, that's going to give me 8. Next one, to find the third number, I substitute the number 3 into this formula over here. So I get 5 times by 3, and then subtract 2. So that gives me 13. To find the fourth number, I'm going to do 5 times by 4, subtract 2 and so that gives me 18 and then the last number I'm going to do 5 multiplied by 5 subtract 2 and so that gives me 23 if say I wanted to find out what the 50th number was if I wanted to find out what the 50th number would be in this sequence then I would just simply substitute 50 into 5n minus 2 so it would be 5 times by 50 and then subtract 2. And so that would be 5 times 50 is 250. Subtract 2, that would give me 248. So the first five terms in the sequence for the nth term, 5n minus 2, would be 3, 8, 13, 18, 23. What I suggest you do now, hopefully you can kind of follow this, what I suggest you do now is that you pause the video pause the video and have an attempt at the questions, the two questions that are here. Have a go at those on paper because I think if you do that you'll get a little bit more out of the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to answer these questions now. I suggest you pause it first and then watch the solutions after you've had an attempt at these two questions. So second example what are the fourth, tenth, and the fiftieth terms in the sequence described by 2n plus 3? So I've got, I want to find the fourth term, the tenth term, and the fiftieth term. So the fourth term, that's going, all that I'm going to have to do is substitute the number 4 into 2n plus 3. So 2 multiplied by 4, then add on 3, that's going to give me 11. So the fourth number in the sequence described by 2n plus 3 would be 11. To find the tenth number, I would have to do 2 multiplied by 10, then add 3, and so that is going to give me 23. 2 times 10 is 20, add on 3 will give me 23. To find the fiftieth number in the sequence, I would simply substitute the number 50 into 2n plus 3, and so that would give me um, 103. 
So 2 times 50 would give me 100, then add on the 3 would give me 103. I just haven't shown my work in there. So the, third, the fourth number, 11, the tenth number, 23, and the fiftieth number would be 103. Okay, let's take a look at our third example. Generate the first five terms in the sequence for the nth term, minus 3n minus 1. This is slightly trickier because it involves a negative number. So I'm still going to do exactly as I did at the beginning. I'm going to write out 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then I'm simply going to substitute each of these numbers in to find out what the corresponding term in the sequence would be. So the first term is going to be minus 3 multiplied by 1. Then I'm subtracting 1. So minus 3 multiplied by 1 is going to give me minus 3. Then I need to take another one off that. And when, I, when I'm subtracting numbers, I can think that I'm getting colder. So minus 3 times 1, that's going to give me minus 3. Then subtract 1 from that, that's going to give me minus 4. So if I'm subtracting, I actually get colder. And I can think about it in terms of temperature. I'm on minus 3. I go down by 1, so I'm going to go down to minus 4. So be careful if there is a negative number involved. So the next one is going to be minus 3 times 2 and then subtract 1. So that's going to be minus 7. The next one would be minus 3 times 3, which gives me minus 9. Minus 1 would give me minus 10. The fourth number would be minus 3 times by 4. That gives me minus 12. Minus another one is going to give me minus 13. And then the fifth number in the sequence would be minus 3 times by 5, which gives me minus 15. Subtract another one from minus 15, and I'm going to be on minus 16. So the first five terms in the sequence are going to be minus 4, minus 7, minus 10, minus 13, and minus 16.